All right, I'm going to jump down to comfort zone. Oh, this is one of the, I love this one. Who's going to admit that sometimes they get just a little bit too comfortable? Absolutely, right? And it's because we all want to be safe and secure. The problem is you try to create comfort and security in your day by being a little lazy because you know what? Things are all right. Let me ask you a quick question. Has anyone had ever been through a major adversity in their life? I mean, when the times were doom and gloom, and they were thinking, you know, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this relationship. Oh, I don't know if I, I'm, you know, so-and-so is going to be on me for this or that. Anyone have any major, major adversity in their past? I have, right? And when you were going through that adversity, were you saying to yourself, hmm, the worry, the fret, the anxiety got you all messed up in the head, right? Hard to make decisions, hard to move forward. Has that happened? Absolutely. Now, each, now, was that in the past for everyone? Nobody's going through this right this second, right? We have stuff, major stuff that's happened in the past. Well, here you all sit today and everyone is comfortable. Everybody has made it through it, correct? Here's a, a great book that I recommend that helps you out with uh, being, uh, getting out of your comfort zone. It's a book titled, When You're Going Through Hell, don't stop. When you're going through hell, don't stop. Because we all felt like it was hell we were going through, right? You know what happens? There's a lot of people in this country that stay there, stuck, comfortable, and they don't move through it. And they stay with all the anxiety, and they won't move out of that. Because... Some people come and take care of them through it. Some people consult them through it, right? Well, it's time for that to end. Think of this. You made it through. You're sitting here today, and everything's okay. So here's what I say. Anytime I'm facing any kind of challenge in business, relationships, doesn't matter. No matter what I'm facing, it does not matter because I'll always make it through it. It always turns out okay. Every one of your situations turned out okay. You're here, correct? We're healthy to a degree, correct, right? So we made it through. Here's the challenge. Each and every one of us gets a little bit complacent where we're at. And therefore, others around us, we, we tend to hang around others that are complacent and comfortable. And then we all start singing Kumbaya and having, uh, getting engaged in uh, in stories or conversations that are negative, don't we? Guys, in order to grow, you got to stretch. So here's the exercise. Real simple when you go home. Write down three things that you know you need to do and you've put it off, but you know it's going to stretch you. Because in order to grow, you got to stretch. But it's uncomfortable. I'm one of the wor world's worst people as far as wanting to work out because when I get started to go to work out has anyone ever worked out before or currently works out do you remember the first time you went to work out you went you worked out and it was okay but the next day what happened every muscle that you hadn't used in a while is what been stretched and it's uncomfortable <laughs> so you know what you don't go the next day <laughs> oh I'll take a rest right David I'll take a rest if you push through that uncomfortableness, it then becomes comfortable. So being uncomfortable and getting out of your comfort zone, there's different stages. Number one, there's something that you know you need to do when you leave here. Maybe it's pick up the 700-pound phone, and it's making your first call. And then once you do your first call, the next level of being un – because now it becomes a little bit com more comfortable. And let's say you make a call a week. And you're comfortable at that. And you can see yourself through the adversity of picking up that 700-pound phone. And now you've become comfortable. You know what the next level of com being uncomfortable is? Making two calls a week. Making three calls a week. Five calls a week, folks, is only one call a day. In your business, if you're not making at least one call a day, well, then you're not really in maximizing your business. You should be making multiple calls a day. Instead of listening to talk radio on the and music on the, the, the radio when you're driving to work, how about making some calls? You all do 
drive home from work, do you? Don't you? Absolutely. So you can make more calls. It's even better at that time to reach people. So being uncomfortable is writing something down, sticking to it, putting it in front of you, taking action, a small step through it, experiencing it, because you all have been through experiences of uncomfortable before. I just recognized that. And you all made it through, didn't you? Absolutely. So now it's time to take it to the next level and build upon it. We learned earlier, at first his mentor said, you need to be sending emails every day, five days a week. But let's get started with once a week. He wasn't even doing it once a week. It was a big stretch to go from once a, a, once a week, getting started to once a week, and then from once a week to once a day. Now it's a daily habit. I know his habits. He's up early in the morning. He's writing. There's no distractions. And he gets his email out way, well before noon. That's a daily habit. So this is how you create the whatever it is that's uncomfortable to become comfortable at doing it, and it becomes a daily habit. You must recognize and write down what are those top three things right now you know you need to do that's holding you back, that we need to stretch you through so ultimately it can become comfortable. Question is, who is going to commit to do that? Anyone? Because if you don't, you'll end up staying exactly where you're at right now. And there's a simple exercise. Any questions on being uncomfortable or comfortable that I can assist with? Is that a good exercise? Excellent. 